Before John Elway, before Terrell Davis, Denver had Floyd Little. To Broncos faithful, Little was simply the franchise. From 1967, when he became the first number one draft pick in team history to sign, until his final game in 1975, nobody did more for their team than number 44. In his career as a running back receiver returner, Little accumulated 12,157 all-purpose yards, more than anyone in the NFL in that span. He did so playing with the least talent, as he had no Pro Bowl players and no future Hall of Famers around him. Yet Little led the AFC in rushing in back-to-back -back seasons, including the entire NFL in 1971 when he ran for 1,133 yards in 14 games. In so doing, the 5'10 Little became the smallest running back to lead the league since World War II. Little's skills did not translate into wins and losses, however. Denver had just two winning seasons under Little's leadership, and he never played in a playoff game. But a franchise that had threatened to leave flourished upon Little's arrival. From less than 19,000 season ticket holders in 1966, Denver's Mile High Stadium has sold all 49,000 seats by Little's final season, before the season even began. Now in Vesco Field at Mile High, every game since Little retired has been sold out, prompting John Elway to proclaim Floyd Little the greatest Bronco of us all. Welcome to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Floyd Little.